All right, we are recording. Today is gonna be a very fun day. I got the keys to an S1000R 2020. There she is right there, next to the beautiful green, I think that's a Vespa. Ooh, I'm already sweating in this suit, man. Throw my gloves on. Hope you guys are enjoying the very high quality of the Insta360 1R right now. I'm so, so impressed with this camera as a model vlogging setup. Literally shoots in 5.3K, which is just absolutely nuts for an action camera. And of course, big thank you to BMW of Ventura for hooking it up with today's ride. Ooh, we got the Akrapovich, I think that's how you say it, Akrapovich exhaust. S1000R 2020 from BMW. Very, very nice. We're gonna see how this rides as a taller rider. This is a brand new bike. They actually just rode it off as a demo for me. Huge shout out to them for trusting me with this. Ooh, listen to that sound. So they got 13 miles on it. Got good gas, brand new tires, so I can't go too crazy with it. I'm gonna let this warm up real quick. This is the dash. This is what we're dealing with. Sounds super nice. Just gonna put this in the first, and off we go. Ooh, this actually feels pretty nice. All right. So first things first, I'm actually gonna head over to Trader Joe's and grab a snack because I am starving. I can feel my hips cramping up a little bit. I'm gonna save most of my recording for when we get to uh, when we get to the snake, which is where we're heading. Cash this bike in its prime. because just normal street roads won't do this bike justice. For those of you guys that don't know, this bike is, I don't know too much about it to be honest, but this bike is uh, basically the base version of an S1000 RR. It's a lower seat and you're not as aggressive in the, or you're not in a, as much of an aggressive position as an S1000 RR is, but this thing still has the power. 1000 cc's, it's, it's, it's got some power, man. I can already feel it. It's uh, definitely a choppier throttle than the F900R, obviously because it's got more power. Um, and uh, I can see this thing just performing way better at higher speeds than lower speeds. I'll tell you that. You guys hear those exhaust pops? This bike has an Akrapovich exhaust. Sounds super nice. Oh, these roads are not ideal. This throttle is very, very slippery in the sense that it's just not choppy, but it just wants to go. Like I say in every single one of my videos. We got a two lane road coming up ahead where I can uh, warm up the tires a little bit. Suspension is very stiff. tires. This is how I see everybody else do it. I should probably lean over more, but... Get 
get that rubber moving. Wow, that is so much fun. The guys at the dealership didn't give me a whole lot of information and I honestly didn't want them to. Mainly because I want to kind of just feel it, feel it as it is and uh, give my opinion based off of that little first impressions. I really like the shifter. It has a nice clicking feel to it, nice sound. This is not going to be crazy detailed as in all the other reviews that I've done. Just more of a first impression from a new rider. All right, so we're gonna take it up into the canyons here. Got plenty of gas, plenty of fuel as well. Dude, this bike just hauls. Wow. Looks like they added a bunch of reflectors here since the last time I came through here, which is always good. Ooh, I love those exhaust pops, man. Those sound so good. Pop, pop, pop. Something I really want to do very soon is take some courses on riding. The street's always going to be sketchy, but from what I've heard with a lot of friends and a lot of people that have had accidents, track experience is what's going to save you most of the time. And if I'm being honest, I've, I've always been an athletic person. I think that I have pretty solid motor skills, not like on the, the level of an athlete. Not like a professional athlete or, you know, those friends that are just insanely good at like every sport. I'm definitely not one of those people. So, I think that I'm definitely one of those people that just needs a lot of repetition. I'm, not, I'm a fast learner with some things, but when it comes to motor skills, my body's a lot bigger than most people. So when I watch other people perform something, it applies slightly different for me because of my height, being six foot eight. But man, I love riding motorcycles. I have a lot of respect for all the riders that I used to film, man. Motorcycle riding is not easy. Oh, thank you so much. I've ridden, you know, uh, a handful of bikes, not a crazy amount, but each time that I ride on them, the bikes can be different. So I haven't really adjusted to a bike long enough to really understand how it feels and how to react appropriately. And every bike is of course gonna feel slightly different. So as far as my, you know, I, over a, a long period of time, I'll get a lot more experience in that sense testing different bikes and kind of knowing what to look out for, different power ranges of motorcycles, just the way that they handle, size, weight, everything. That's all gonna, you know, eventually hit you, hit me later in a good way. In the sense of, you know, it's gonna give me more insight. But I don't have a current bike that I can use to really like, compare as my go-to motorcycle, if that makes sense. If you're constantly switching on different motorcycles, you're gonna get you know different opinions on riding. The skill is always gonna kind of be there, but that skill only comes from riding different motorcycles. And because I'm changing the amount of bikes that I ride so often, especially now having uh, BMW Ventura kind of as a sponsor, I'm gonna be riding a lot of different uh, a lot of different motorcycles. And that is no way complaining. I'm just trying to give you guys my point of view as far as riding goes. I also have some hair currently just tingling my eyelashes and it's driving me nuts. Now if you guys remember the XSR 700 video, right here is where I crashed. Not fun. 
Josh still gives me shit to this day for crying like a little baby. My shoulder hurts. <laughs> Interesting. Braking feels pretty nice. My hands are way too stiff though. Pop on my little indicator. Wait for the speed demon. And we chill it, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. Alright, so we're approaching the Mulholland Snake here, crossing Canaan and Mulholland. We just took the back roads of Mulholland. And uh, we're going to check out and see how the snake looks. Hopefully I actually trigger the sensor. The car behind me, hopefully he scoots up. It doesn't stay 30 feet back like most cars do. Thank you. Yes. Finally someone that understands. Oh, that just happened. All right, let's see what's different. For most of you guys that don't know, the Mulholland Snake basically burned down to the ground with all the recent fires that came through here. Pretty crazy situation and uh, a lot of the homes got burnt down. Lots of homes, a lot of fences were uh, kind of wrecked. So they all melted, so I'm just curious to see what's all been replaced. And uh, this is still blocked off, but we'll check and see how it all looks. Off we go. Is this bike fun though? <laughs> Sounds good. Engine braking feels pretty solid. This bike is fun, man, I'm not gonna lie. I really wish I was a little bit shorter so I could ride more motorcycles. Cause all the fun ones are for all you shorties. I'm just playing. Fuel consumption's actually not too bad. You know, I haven't really been riding hard, but I haven't been riding soft. We only lost Looks like one bar since we started. One or two bars of fuel. We're still sitting at more than three-fourths of a gallon after about, what is that? Eh, not that far then, I guess, 22 miles. That's not much at all. Take that back. Just feels like a long day. <laughs> Plenty of power when you need it, man. Oh shit. That's what happens when you don't have proper driving lessons. Unbelievable. 
that worker truck looks like it just tried to cut off the guy with the tow or that tow truck carrying a car on the back. That's just sketchy, man. Look at dude, that drive dude's driving like an idiot. What is he doing? Like you're literally towing another truck on the back of your own truck. Don't you think you should be driving a little bit more aware? It's not even that windy out. Dude's crossing over double yellows, cutting people off. All right, first impressions of the 2020 BMW S1000R. I can see why people would love this bike, but personally, I don't think it's the right fit for me. Me personally, I'm not much of an aggressive rider. I'm sure you guys have seen that by now. I love filming aggressive riders and you know people that do the crazy stuff, but me personally, for motorcycle riding, I just enjoy going for a ride to clear my head, enjoy the scenery, just get away from the computer, get away from everything, and just focus on my ride. This bike just has so much power and it almost makes me uncomfortable. And the reason why is because going through certain bumps in the road, I felt that the throttle was almost too responsive, right? It's kind of just wants to go. And that obviously has to, that correlates with the amount of power that this bike uh, has and gives to the rider. But just going through the corners, it just feels kind of unpredictable for myself. And it might just be my current skill level. I might, you know, grow into this bike in the future. But currently, not the bike for me, but for those of you guys that know that feeling and know how to control that, this bike is nuts. Overall impression, the best way I can put it is that this bike is underrated. It's not for me, but I can see this being very underrated. As a motorcycle photographer and filmer in the industry, I haven't seen this come through my feed very often, and uh, it's not very talked about. In that in that sense um, but this bike has so much potential because it's literally got the chassis or the foundation of the BMW S1000 double R put in a more commuter bike which if you think about that that's pretty nuts and so uh, definitely check it out I highly recommend it if you live in Ventura or Los Angeles County highly recommend checking out checking out BMW of Ventura they hooked me up with this bike for you guys to give you a perspective uh, from you know first impressions from my from my skill level and uh, if you're interested in checking it out highly recommend their dealership great cooper guys this week's feature is by simple situation thank you so much for submitting we need more submissions so go follow the subreddit send in your photos and uh, you might end up in the next video also wanted to mention that today while this video is being uploaded i'm actually going out to san jose bmw with josh heron to pick up his uh, 2020 BMW S1000 double R, which is super exciting. And I also get to ride one of the new BMW bikes that they have at their dealership in San Jose. So uh, make sure you guys check out the channel uh, for Josh, as well as the next video will be out uh, probably next Thursday. I'm trying to upload every single week, trying to be consistent. Sometimes the quality is gonna be a little bit lower. Sometimes it's gonna be higher. I'm just trying to stay consistent. But thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.